uh, now to update you on breaking news that unfolded on 7 Eyewitness News this morning. It all started with reports of an explosion in Wheatfield and a man severely injured. It turns out the home where this makeshift bomb went off belongs to a well-known politician in Niagara County. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller is live at the scene now with more on what happened. And Joanna, just a little over an hour ago, police taking down the yellow crime scene tape at this home on Walmore Road here in the town of Wheatfield. They're taking everything, all the evidence that they've collected back to the lab, all as investigators try to piece together what exactly happened. Something, in fact, exploded inside of the garage. The home of Niagara County legislator Bill Ross in Wheatfield, the scene of what could be a federal crime. Federal agents and local police scouring the home on Walmore Road, looking for evidence of explosives. Ross's stepson, whose sources tell me is Michael O'Neill, suffered serious leg injuries after his homemade bomb exploded early this morning. O'Neill is a former Niagara County. Corrections officer. And we also found evidence of, of other material inside of the garage, which would indicate um, the attempt to build further explosive devices. Investigators obtained a search warrant for the Ross home, O'Neill's car, and the detached garage. It takes a very long time, depending on it, it's a garage. There's a lot of items in this garage. You have to look at everything. Police spent the afternoon going through the home with a bomb sniffing dog, bagging up evidence, clues as to what these bombs were being built for. Part of our examination in the search warrant is to is to look at computers. As we all know, in cases we've seen in the past, they hold a lot of evidence, they hold a lot of material. I spoke with legislator Ross on the phone this morning. He tells me he had no idea this was happening under his roof and says, quote, anyone who knows me knows I would call the police immediately if I knew something was wrong. So is this an act of domestic terrorism? Way too early to tell, but it concerns us. And we do know that O'Neill is in fair condition tonight at ECMC. At this point, charges have not been filed, and if they come, they will come from the U.S. Attorney's Office. Coming up all new at 6, I've spent the day speaking to residents here in Wheatfield about this uh, bomb scare that really shook up their neighborhood. You'll hear from them coming up in the next hour. We're live in Wheatfield tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.